Hello everyone and welcome to Sutton's Days. Today I thought we would chat a little bit about forever foods. Foods that last forever. Well, kind of forever, almost a really long time. Let's get started. I have a list of foods here, my handy notes, and we're gonna chat a little bit about each one, uh, what it is and the best way to store it so that it lasts as long as possible. The first one is honey. And I would highly recommend that you spend money for a good quality honey, a local honey if it's available, okay? Um, not necessary that, necessarily that little bear, you know, little plastic bear full of honey. Um, you want some really good, authentic, true honey. And that will last you a long, long time. Honey is great for a whole bunch of things. Literally every meal of the day could use some honey. It's great with breakfast, over oats, over pancakes, over toast. It's great at lunch and at dinner, over meats as a glaze. It's just, honey is fantastic. It's absolutely great. It has a lot of health benefits to it. I definitely encourage you to look those up. If at all humanly possible, get local honey or just real honey. Not that little bear dude, the plastic bear dude. You want some real, real honey. Now, honey is fantastic just putting it on the shelf. Over time, you may notice that it starts getting a little cloudy, a little crystallized. With a little bit of heat, you can make that go away. It's just fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just a natural thing that happens. So number one is honey. Number two is instant coffee. What? Yeah, seriously, instant coffee. Instant coffee will literally last you forever. Ready for the caveat? if it is frozen. It has best by dates, sell by dates, you know, but it doesn't have a use by date. Instant coffee, if you keep it in the freezer, will last you indefinitely, a really, 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 really long time. If you don't keep it in the freezer and you put it on the shelves in the pantry, it can last anywhere from two to 20 years depending on the environment that it's kept in. You wanna keep it cool, you wanna keep it dark, you wanna keep it dry, okay? How do you know when coffee goes bad? Because it doesn't smell or taste like coffee anymore. Over time, what happens is it uh, will lose its aroma, its flavor. Those are tied very closely together. So this goes with your coffee beans, this goes with you know ground coffee, this goes with instant coffee. Um, the best place to put it is in the freezer. The natural oils will start to dissipate and it just doesn't, it's not gonna kill you, it just doesn't taste good. So. If you can keep it in the freezer, fantastic. You'll have it forever. Um, instant coffee specifically, then that's a great way to have forever food. The next one really, really is great for adding some flavor when you're having something that's typically kind of bland, right? Bullion cubes, not powdered bullion, bullion cubes. They're those little cubes in the foil packet. You normally buy them in a container, a little glass jar or a different kind of container. Um, and the best thing to do with these is to take them out of those containers, leave the foil wrapper, but take them out of those containers and put them into a Mylar bag, vacuum seal it and put it away. And as long as it is again, cool, dry and dark, you're fine. It'll last you forever. And they're so handy to have. I mean, taking a bullion cube and putting it in some hot water can make you just feel comfort when it's cold, okay? Adding it to rice, adding it to potatoes, adding it to your meat, your fish, anything like that. Bullion cubes make the world a better place. The next one is a little controversial, <laughs> okay? Corn syrup, plain old corn syrup. Corn syrup can be used for many things. Um, primarily what comes to mind is you can make a sweet treat because when things are bad, sometimes a sweet treat really just makes life a little more bearable, right? So corn syrup is another thing that as long as you leave it in a cool, dry, dark place, put it up, you're good to go. If you can still find it in glass containers, that's fantastic. If not, plastic will do. Just keep an eye on it, check on it when you do your inventory, you know, three, four times a year, and you'll be fine. Okay, the next one is pure vanilla extract. Now, the imitation will typically only last about a couple years, okay? Pure vanilla extract can last up to 20 years. Dark bottle, cool, dry place, you're fine. 
Um, a lot of us make our own vanilla extract and that typically is comprised of alcohol and vanilla beans and that again will last you forever seriously alcohol is one of those things that just doesn't you know age bad so pure vanilla extract and that's fantastic to use in all kinds of things again you can just pour a little into your oatmeal you can use it for cookies you can use it for baking anything like that it's a forever food the next one is white rice now brown rice no white rice yes white rice is very easy to store for long term the best way to do this in my opinion is to put it into mylar bags vacuum seal it and put it up an oxygen absorber would go well in a mylar bag with uh, white rice because if there is anything in it the oxygen kills the larva it kills any insects it kills anything like that and you don't have a problem so oxygen absorbers mylar bags or just mylar bags and vacuum seal them and put them up if you're not going to put in an oxygen absorber I highly recommend freezing it first before you put it in the mylar bags and put it away next is powdered milk now a lot of us have seen powdered milk that has a, a best by date or use by date or, you know okay but powdered milk if you keep it in its sealed package if you keep it in its sealed can or its sealed uh, bag okay um, it will last indefinitely once you open it it's only good for about three to four months so the idea is to keep it sealed now yes you can open it put it in a mylar bag throw in an oxygen absorber seal that up and it's good indefinitely so powdered milk because you know not, nothing like creamy mashed potatoes <laughs> okay or just adding some milk to your oatmeal milk makes the body good next is pasta yes pasta will last forever if you store it properly um, I'm not talking egg noodles again okay but there's a lot of pasta out there different shapes different colors and if you put them in a mylar bag and just put them up then you're good definitely take them out of the box that they come in put them in a mylar bag seal that bag up you can vacuum seal it if you want most pastas it shouldn't you know mash it or crash it but you don't have to vacuum seal it you don't have to put in an oxygen absorber just seal it up put it in a bucket and you're good to go pasta lasts a long time Another one that's really, it's a comfort food, at least, you know, for us, is potato flakes. So if you can't get your hands on real potatoes, then potato flakes are wonderful. You can use them in bread. You can use them in sauces and soups to thicken them. You can just make some mashed potatoes because mashed potatoes are good. Potato flakes. These are super simple. They will last forever. As always, cool, dry, cool, dry dark place, okay? But um, if you buy them in a box, repackage them into mylar containers throw in an oxygen absorber you're good put them away they will last forever do you need an oxygen absorber no you don't you can just seal them up put them in the bag you're in the you know bucket you're fine but if you want that extra step you can use an oxygen absorber rolled oats oatmeal oatmeal cookies cookies oatmeal cookies okay so oatmeal is used for a whole bunch of good stuff so rolled oats now I'm not talking about your flavored ones you know that come with all this that and the other just good old-fashioned rolled oats you guys grab those again these are ones that kind of like the rice I would put an oxygen absorber in into a mylar bag so that you're killing off anything that might get in there um, and keeping it from living uh, but oatmeal is fantastic it's a staple in a lot of households and it will last forever cookies salt and sugar absolutely my top two forever foods because we cannot survive without sodium and sugar makes life sweeter okay do not put oxygen absorbers in either one of these but you can put them in glass jars you can store them in buckets you can put them in mylar bags to put them in buckets salt and sugar label them so that you don't mix them up alcohol now obviously if you have an issue with alcohol this is not a good thing to store but everyone else alcohol is handy but you want to keep it to your basics if you're looking at long-term storage you want to keep it to your your well vodka okay you want whiskey you want tequila you want rum you want vodka you want bourbon I think that about sums it up okay so those are oh grain alcohol like uh, Everclear yeah so you want those 
they're very inexpensive. Try to purchase them in glass bottles if you can and just put them up. They're very handy. They never go bad. They can be used for a multitude of things. Next is apple cider vinegar. Now I'm not talking about the cheap stuff. You want to get the good stuff like the Braggs with the mother in it, apple cider vinegar, okay? Not only is it good for lowering your blood sugar, um, killing harmful bacteria, getting rid of dandruff, um, you know, all kinds of stuff. Apple cider vinegar is like the miracle food out there, okay? But it's also great for poison ivy, it's great for a natural deodorant, and it's really great for sunburn and antifungal properties. Ha! I said it. So, apple cider vinegar is a fantastic thing to have. Apple cider vinegar will last forever. Um, typically, you know, people will say a couple years, but it really will last indefinitely if you keep it in the optimum storage, cool, dry, dark, okay? Keep it in that storage, it will last indefinitely. Cornstarch. Say what? Yes, cornstarch is a forever food. And it's fantastic because it can be used to soothe sunburns and bug bites. You know, it has medicinal properties, yay. But it makes things, you can, you know, obviously, it makes things thicker. You know, you can make gravies, you can make soups and stews and that kind of stuff by adding it to it. Cornstarch is a really great thing to have in your repertoire as far as your pantry goes. Um, it's just, it's a really great forever food. And it's inexpensive, so that's a bonus. Okay, the last one is a high protein, high fiber food, and it lasts forever. <laughs> okay, lentils. Do not mistake lentils for beans. They are different, okay? But lentils, they are high fiber, they are high protein, they are so healthy. They're, if you can't get fresh meat, it's great to have the lentils to give you the protein that you need. Add some of that bouillon, add some of the other stuff that we talked about, and you've got yourself a meal. Lentils. So you want to learn the difference between lentils and beans because lentils will last indefinitely. Again, I would store those in Mylar bags and put them up. Make sure to label them really good. Um, or glass jars if you've got them. You know, anything that's airtight, you want to keep them dry, you want to keep them dark, and you want to keep them cool. But lentils... Just like apple cider vinegar, white vinegar is one of those things that lasts forever. Now, if you've got that, you can pickle things, um, you can cook with it, you can do all kinds of things with white vinegar. And it's very handy to have. It's good for cleaning. It's good, you know, it's just good. It's good to have around. Most of the time it comes in that opaque white bottle. You want to try to keep those bottles in, again, a cool, dry, dark place. Keep it out of the sunlight. It'll last forever. These are just a few of the foods um, that I bring up that are most common. Again, I'm not doing like hardtack and pemmican, okay, you know, but these are foods that most of us use at some point or another. And if you can stock up on them, if you have a good sale and you've got a place to keep them cool, dark, and dry, they will last you indefinitely. You don't have to worry about rotating them out. Your biggest concern would be ensuring that whatever you store them in is kept safe so that you're not getting insects, so that you're not getting leakage, that kind of thing. And it's not being impacted by the light. Having a dark place is so important because it shortens the life of your food so, so much. <clears throat> These items that we just talked about um, will, well, the lentils will give you actual sustenance. Um, the oats will give you actual sustenance, okay? But a lot of these are just things that make food taste better. They make things more palatable. And if all else fails, there's the vodka, you know? Okay, everybody, I hope that you enjoyed this. If you would like to hear anything more about Forever Foods or anything in particular, be sure to drop it in the comment section below. What is your favorite Forever Food? Until next time, be safe.